Hi guys, so it's Charlotte here from Charlotte's Animal Services. So it looks like it's uh, another um, hot week forecast ahead of us. So we need to think about how we're going to keep our pets cool in warm weather. So while we all enjoy the lovely sunshine, it can be fatal to our pets. So we need to do the, everything we can to help them keep cool. Remember, small animals are prone to um, suffering from heat. Um, so we need to think about what we can do. So we can move their hutches to shady areas. We need to provide um, shade on runs. Um, hutches can be moved inside if shady areas aren't available outside into a shed. Fans can be added to make a supply of cool air. We need to remember not to leave our pets locked in wooden hutches where they can get too hot so they rapidly heat up. If we put our animals out in a run we need to provide shade so whether this is from a sun parasol or um, some kind of towel pulling or um, covering. We need to remember not to cover the run completely because we need to allow air circulation to move through so that um, it helps to keep them cool from the breeze. Remember old towels are great to use because these can be dampened down so they're light, um, not so they're dripping, just so they're lightly moist um, and that will help to keep them cool with the water. Remember, especially with guinea pigs, like Heidi Halls, but these can get extremely hot, especially the plastic ones, and can act like a greenhouse. So while you think you're providing shade, they're actually making them hotter for the guinea pigs. Remember, guinea pigs and rabbits like to naturally burrow. So if you can make yourself a natural burrow where they can get to the ground and the shade, that would be absolutely perfect as it replicates their natural habitat and it helps to keep them cool as well. We need to think about um, making sure they have enough water to drink. So remember that rabbits will drink 40% more water from a water bowl. So it's a good idea to offer um, more than one source of water for your pet because water bottles um, can sometimes not feed as well from the bowls. They can get clogged. So make sure that they're always clean. But yeah, a good idea is to offer more than one um, source of water. Remember to keep changing the water during the day if possible to keep it cool um, with nice new cool fresh water. Um, if you're offering greens as a, a treat, remember not to increase the greens to extra watery greens. Um, obviously the odd watery green can be um, added, but these can upset the stomach of your guinea pig especially and rabbit if they're not used to them in the diet. So the best thing is to wash the greens in cold water or iced water so they're, they're nice and cool and got a bit of extra moisture on when they're offered to the pet. Um, obviously we need to watch for signs of lethargicness. Um, an overheating of the rabbit, convulsions, anything like that, what you think the pet has got too hot, you need to seek medical advice immediately um, from a veterinary professional. But remember to keep your rabbit cool, don't put them in cold water, this can cause shock and can actually kill your, your pet. Um, it's best to um, mist them or put a cool towel in um, lightly tepid water obviously they might not like being misted if they're not used to it so just think about that before you start using a spray bottle on them if they're not used to it maybe dampen the air around them rather than directly onto the pet remember there's lots of other options what can be added to runs and cages to keep them cool remember ceramic tiles and slates are excellent for keeping cool but remember not to put them in the sun because they will heat up and have the opposite effect as like a hot water bottle um, so they need to be in a shady area so they can go and lay on them to keep cool. Um, there's obviously lots of new products out there. There's cooling mats, they're good, um, which offer a cool, safe environment for the pet to lay on to cool down. Uh, but one of the most basic things, remember they're wearing a fur coat and it's winter, uh, summer and it's not winter anymore. So remember to groom your pet regularly just to help them keep cool and it helps to remove any excess fur what's still in their coat. Um, I hope these tips help um, to help keep your pets cool during this hot weather what's coming ahead. Thanks now.